Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and I want to quickly review a fast way of reading a science textbook. A lot of times I find that students in high school haven't had this explained to them, and they think that the way you read a textbook is just start on page one of chapter one, and you just read every page until you get to the end. Uh, these tips are summarized on studyride.net, and there are four things you need to do. So the first thing you do is you go to the end of the chapter, and look over the questions. This is going to help you understand what kind of content is in that chapter and what kind of questions you can be asking. It's a lot easier to read a text if you're looking for specific information. Uh, the next thing is read the summary of the chapter. This gives you an overview of what the chapter is about and if everything is going well everything in the chapter will make sense because it will be things that we've talked about in class as well. But if you see things that you don't recognize, you probably want to go check that out. And then the next thing you do, third, look at the headings and subdivisions of the chapters. So just go through and look through the chapters, look for the big words, look for um, bolded definitions, look for callouts, look at the pictures, look at the graphs, read the captions, look at the example problems, look at everything that is not the main text. And then if you don't have a good feel of what that chapter is about, after reading the questions, reading the summary, and looking at the headings and subdivisions and pictures and diagrams and called out important terms, then you need to start reading the chapter. Okay, uh, And I would say focus on stuff that isn't making sense. If it's something that makes sense to you, skim over it. And that's the way you read.